Rusty Lake Hotel was a really weird, but good game. Surprisingly good. Like, I didn't know what to really expect from this game. I've never really played a game like this. It's pretty much a murder game, but instead of solving the murder, you're the murderer. There's other games in the series. It's not necessary that you have played them in order to play this one. Either way, I think you're gonna be confused and just have a lot of what the fuck is going on moments. Essentially, the premise of the game is that there's these five guests and you have to murder them and it I'm, I'm not spoiling anything by telling you that that, that it kind of lays it out up front oh also after you kill the guests you bring them to the chef and he cooks them and serves them to the surviving guests why you're murdering them is is unknown but you have to go to each one of their rooms and pretend that you're helping them and then solve various puzzles in their rooms and then use something in their room or some part of their request to kill them and again, these aren't spoilers, it kind of makes it clear. So like, for example, you have to kill a pigeon that wants you to draw her bath, and you kill her by electrocuting her, but not like, you know, like something simple, like, you know, dropping a fucking toaster in the tub, you know, which you would think, you know, that, that'd probably do it. No, no. She's got fucking Tesla coils and all this fucking rigmarole set up in her hotel room, which how she even set up all that equipment in less than a day, I don't know, but, you know, I didn't help her with it. That's the weird thing, too. She wants you to help her with a bath, but she doesn't want you to help her set up all this fucking electricity shit, you know, but th that's side point. Uh, and then you find out there's this fucking bird that's tied up in this elevator looking thing, and he's being tortured for some fucking reason that they also don't explain. Everything's fucking weird in this game, but it's good. It's good. It's a good kind of weird. And all the puzzles are interesting, and they make you feel kind of smart for solving them. And those are always the kind of puzzles I like, not the ones that are too extreme difficult and not the ones that are like oh what is one plus one? Oh, it's two great job you did it and they pat you on the head no these ones are like in that nice middle ground where it's like what the fuck oh that's what it is okay okay i feel smart now i like those kind of puzzles so anyway you solve these puzzles and then you fucking murder all these people for this this owl that's running the hotel and you don't you still don't really know why but that's 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 what you're doing here and everything is weird it's just weird but it's it's fun and the art is interesting and it's, it's all very interesting and just fucking it's just weird that's there's that's just the best word i can think of but uh if you're into like creepy weird shit that's not necessarily dark and spooky looking and has like an artsy feel to it and it's just creepy and weird and like puzzles this is yeah this is definitely uh something i would recommend uh so again rusty lake hotel so uh yeah that's what that is